the twin moons of Elixir cast their iridescent glow upon the royal palace, bathing its gleaming spires in hues of silver and gold. Within the grandeur of the throne room, the bioluminescent walls pulse gently, mirroring the collective unease of the assembled council. Princess Zarella, the radiant jewel of Elixir, stood among them, her heart pounding with a nervousness she valiantly concealed. Her father, King Velize, stood at the room's head, his imposing figure framed by the luminescent tree of solace, a sacred emblem of Elysian unity and peace. His resonant, commanding voice cut through the tense silence. The Council of Elders and I have reached a decision, he announced, his gaze settling upon his daughter. Elixir's survival hinges on a strategic alliance with Earth. To secure this bond, Princess Sorella shall be wed to Commander Jason Hawke. The word struck Zarella like a thunderbolt. Her mind whirled, disbelief, confusion, and fear battling for dominance. Earth, humans, the species renowned for their relentless ambition, their conquests, their ruthlessness, and Commander Jason Hawke, of all people. His name alone conjured images of warships and battlefields, his exploits whispered across the galaxy as tales of a merciless tactician. Father, Zarella's voice trembled as she stepped forward, her bioluminescent gown shimmering with her rising emotions. Why must it be me? Why must it be him? Are there no other paths to peace? King Veli's expression softened, but his resolve remained unshaken. My daughter, I understand your apprehension. Humans are unlike us, their customs differ. But Jason Hawke is not merely a warrior, he's a leader, a man of honor, and this union will provide us with the technology and protection necessary to secure Elixir's future. Zarella searched her father's face for a hint of doubt, a suggestion that this wasn't immutable, but found only the weight of his responsibility, the burden of a king making an impossible choice. The council murmured their agreement, their collective will pressing down on her like the gravity of a dying star. Do I not have a choice, she whispered, desperation lacing her voice. Vilai stepped closer, placing a hand on her shoulder. You are my daughter, but you are also a princess of Elixir. Sometimes duty transcends desire. The needs of our people must take precedence over all else. Zarella looked away, her luminous eyes shimmering with unshed tears. She yearned to flee, to escape to the tranquil crystal lakes and hide, but she knew her father's words were unyielding truths, woven into the very fabric of her existence as royalty. Her duty was not hers to evade. As the council dispersed, leaving her alone in the echoing grandeur of the throne room, Zarella's thoughts churned. She envisioned the human commander, cold and calculating, his reputation forged in the fires of battle. How could she ever find common ground with someone so alien, so ruthless? Seeking solace, she retreated to her private chamber, a sanctuary of cascading light and gently flowing dreams. The air was fragrant with Elysian moonflowers, their petals glowing faintly in the dim light. She stood by the window, her gaze drawn to the endless expanse of stars. Somewhere out there, Jason Hawke waited, his ship cutting through the void, on a course that would intertwine their destinies. Would he see her as merely a pawn in a galactic chess game, another conquest to claim? Or was there more to the man behind the legend? Zarella's heart wrestled with her fear, the echoes of her father's words mingling with her own uncertainty. The indifferent, eternal stars offered no answers. Yet, as Zarella reflected, determination flickered within her. If her path was predetermined, she would meet it with the grace and strength expected of her. She would confront this human commander and look beyond the stories. Only then would she discover whether this marriage would be a sacrifice or the beginning of something extraordinary. The air around the Elysian royal landing pad hummed with anticipation. Massive crowds gathered to witness the arrival of the human delegation, an event promising to reshape their world's history. The ceremonial banners of Elixir, glowing in gentle shades of green and silver, rippled in the soft planetary breeze, their bioluminescent threads casting shifting patterns upon the ground. Princess Sorella stood tall beside her father, King Velis, on the elevated dais. Despite her composed demeanor, her heart was a tempest. Her gown, a masterpiece of Elysian artistry, shimmered in rhythmic pulses, reflecting her deep apprehension. Though she had agreed to this meeting, fear still gnawed at her resolve. The sky above rippled with the fiery contrail of a descending spacecraft. 
Unlike the organic, flowing designs of Elysian vessels, the human ship was stark and angular, its metallic surface gleaming like a weapon in the sunlight. It landed with calculated precision, its thrusters whispering into silence. As the dust settled, Zarella's hands clenched into fists. The ship's ramp hissed open, revealing Commander Jason Hawke. He stepped into the light, his presence instantly commanding attention. He was clad in an Earth Alliance uniform, its dark fabric sharply tailored to his tall, muscular frame. His face was rugged, his jawline strong, but his expression lacked the coldness Sorella had anticipated. His piercing blue eyes scanned the crowd before locking onto hers. For a moment, the world around her seemed to fade, and Zarella's breath caught. Jason descended the ramp with a steady, purposeful stride. The assembled aliens murmured, the tension palpable as he reached the dais. Jason removed his gloves and tucked them into his belt, a gesture that seemed oddly disarming. Your Majesty, he began, his voice firm yet respectful as he bowed slightly to King Velize. Princess Zarella, he turned to her, his gaze softening, though he didn't smile. It is an honor to stand before you. Zarella's throat tightened. She had braced herself for aggression, arrogance, or indifference, but not this quiet dignity. She inclined her head, her voice steady despite her nerves. Commander Hawk, welcome to Elixir. We trust your journey was safe. It was, Jason replied, standing tall but not imposing. His eyes lingered on her, curiosity evident in his expression. Your world is breathtaking. King Velize gestured towards the lush gardens bordering the landing pad. We hope our traditions will prove welcoming to you, Commander. Today, we invite you to join us for a ceremonial tour, as is our custom for honored guests. Jason nodded. It would be my privilege. The ceremonial walk began with Zarella and Jason leading the way. The Elysian Gardens were a marvel of alien beauty. Towering plants with glowing leaves arched over crystalline streams that reflected the vibrant bioluminescent light. Delicate creatures flitted between the foliage, their translucent wings trailing tiny sparks. As they walked, Jason glanced around, his face betraying genuine awe. I've traveled to dozens of planets, he said, his voice low enough that only Zarella could hear, but I've never seen anything like this. You find it beautiful, she asked, her curiosity overcoming her reserved nature. Beautiful isn't strong enough, Jason admitted, his gaze meeting hers. It's alive, vibrant, so different from anything on Earth. His honesty surprised Zarella. She found herself studying him more closely. His reputation had painted him as a hardened warrior, a man driven by ambition and conquest, yet here he stood, captivated by the simple elegance of Elixir's natural world. They paused at a glowing fountain where silver droplets seemed to hover in midair before falling gently into the pool below. Zarella gestured to it. This fountain symbolizes balance and harmony, principles central to our way of life. Jason leaned slightly forward, his eyes tracing the delicate interplay of light and water. Balance, he mused, something Earth could learn a great deal from. His words carried a weight Zarella hadn't expected, as if he spoke from a place of personal reflection. She couldn't resist asking, is that why you agreed to this alliance? Jason hesitated, his gaze distant for a moment. In part, he replied. Earth's survival depends on alliances like this, but also. I believe there's more to the galaxy than conflict. Elixir seems to embody that belief. Their conversation was interrupted as King Velize approached, signaling the end of the tour. Jason straightened, his expression shifting back to the formal demeanor of a commander. As the ceremonial walk concluded, Zarella's thoughts swirled. Jason Hawke was not the man she had imagined, not the ruthless tactician or cold-hearted conqueror she had feared. He was complex, thoughtful, and perhaps even kind. For the first time since the marriage was decreed, Zarella felt a flicker of something unexpected, hope. Hope that perhaps this union could be more than political expediency, perhaps Jason Hawke was not only a commander but a bridge between two worlds, a man with whom she could forge something new, something stronger than fear. The days following Commander Jason Hawke's arrival unfolded as a series of delicate negotiations, not just between the Elysian and Earth delegations, but between Jason and Princess Sorella themselves. 
both carried the weight of their respective worlds on their shoulders, yet their conversations became increasingly personal, cautiously stepping beyond formality. One evening, Zarella led Jason to the Celestial Arboretum, a sanctuary deep within the palace grounds. The Arboretum was an inspiring place, home to ancient Elysian trees that glowed faintly in rhythm with the pulses of nearby stars. Each tree was tethered to the cosmos, their bioluminescent roots singing in harmony with celestial vibrations. Every tree here reflects a specific star in the universe, Zarella explained, her voice soft and reverent. Our people believe they hold pieces of wisdom carried from the cosmos. It's where I come when I need clarity. Jason placed a hand on the rough bark of a tree, its glow seemed to brighten at his touch, as though sensing his presence. He looked at Zarella, his face alight with wonder. We've always studied the stars, sought to understand them, but we've never considered them connected to life like this. Zarella smiled, surprised by his curiosity. Perhaps humans have a different way of connecting to the universe. Jason's expression turned thoughtful. On Earth, we've been so focused on survival, on growth and conquest, that we've lost touch with things like this. Maybe that's why I've always felt restless, like we're missing something. Zarella tilted her head, studying him. And do you think Elixir has what you're missing? Jason met her gaze, and for a moment, the weight of his military reputation seemed to lift. Maybe, he said, his voice low but steady. Her heart fluttered at his words, but she quickly masked her surprise. Flattery doesn't suit a warrior of your reputation, Commander. Jason chuckled softly. I've been called many things, but a flatterer isn't one of them. What about you, Princess? What do you see in all this, this alliance, this arrangement? Zarella hesitated, her gaze shifting to the stars above. At first, I saw it as a cage, a duty imposed on me without regard for my desires. But now... She paused, searching for the right words. Now I think I see a path, one where our worlds might truly come together, if we are willing to understand each other. Jason nodded, his expression unreadable, but attentive. Understanding each other, he repeated. It sounds simple, but for humans, it's the hardest thing to achieve. Over the following weeks, Jason and Zarella spent more time together, sharing their worlds in ways neither had anticipated. Zarella introduced Jason to Elysian rituals, like the calming meditation of the Crystal Lakes, where shimmering waters soothed even the most restless souls. Jason, in turn, shared Earth's ingenuity, recounting stories of resilience and progress that spoke to the strength of his people. One day, Jason invited Zarella to the Earth delegation ship. She hesitated at first, wary of the stark, mechanical environment she imagined, but her curiosity won out. When they entered the control room, Jason showed her the holographic star maps used in Earth's navigation systems. Our technology may not glow like elixirs, Jason admitted, but it has its own kind of beauty. He activated a projection of the Milky Way galaxy, its billions of stars glittering in the air around them. Zarella stepped forward, entranced. She reached out to touch one of the stars, her hand passing through the light. It's breathtaking, she whispered. Jason stood beside her, his voice soft. It's all fragile, that's something I've learned the hard way. Every alliance, every partnership, is like a star, it needs balance to keep burning. Their bond deepened with each shared story, each revelation of vulnerability. Zarella saw past the stoic facade of a commander and glimpsed the man beneath, a man burdened by duty but driven by hope. Jason, in turn, saw Zarella's strength, her unwavering commitment to her people, and her capacity for compassion. One evening, as they walked through the gardens, Jason turned to Zarella. When I first came here, he said, I thought this was just another mission, another alliance to secure resources. But now. He paused, his voice faltering. Now I see this as a chance to change something, maybe even myself. Zarella stopped, her luminous eyes meeting his. What do you want to change, Jason? Jason smiled faintly. I want to prove that I'm more than what people think I am, that humans are more than just conquerors. Zarella's heart swelled at his words. She reached out, brushing his arm. You've already begun proving that. 
As they stood beneath Elixir's twin moons, the divide between their worlds seemed less vast. What had begun as a political arrangement was becoming something neither had expected, a bond forged in mutual respect and the shared hope that their union could bring not just peace, but understanding, to two very different civilizations. The day of the wedding dawned with a spectacular display of Elixir's twin suns rising over the horizon, casting golden and violet rays across the lush, bioluminescent fields. The capital throbbed with celebration. Elysian citizens adorned themselves in glowing ceremonial garments, their joy radiating like the living flora that surrounded them. The atmosphere was electric, filled with hope and cautious optimism. For Princess Sorella, the morning brought a whirlwind of preparations. In her chambers, attendants wove strands of starlight-like threads into her hair, symbolizing the cosmic bond the marriage represented. Her gown, a masterpiece of Elysian craftsmanship, shimmered with the soft colors of her emotions, an intricate interplay of nervousness, determination, and, she realized with some surprise, a hint of excitement. In the mirror, she caught a glimpse of herself and paused. Gone was the terrified young woman dreading a union with a man she had only known by reputation. In her place stood a princess prepared to embrace her future, a leader ready to stand as a bridge between two worlds. Across the palace, Commander Jason Hawk was preparing in his own way. His Earth Alliance uniform had been tailored with Elysian embellishments, the dark fabric was now interwoven with threads that glowed faintly, signifying unity. Jason wasn't one for ceremony, but today he felt the weight of it all, the expectations of Earth, the hopes of Elixir, and the growing connection he felt towards Sorella. As he fastened the ceremonial medal around his neck, a symbol of the Alliance, Jason took a deep breath. He thought back to the moment he first stepped off his ship and saw her standing tall and regal, despite her obvious apprehension. Now, weeks later, she was more than just a figure of duty, she was someone he admired, someone he trusted, someone who made him believe that peace was not just possible but worth fighting for. The wedding took place in the celestial amphitheatre, an open-air venue surrounded by ancient trees that pulsed softly in resonance with the Elysian sky. The canopy above seemed to shimmer with the cosmos's approval, and the air was filled with the delicate harmonies of Elysian songbirds, their ethereal voices blending into an otherworldly melody. As Sorella walked down the aisle, her bioluminescent gown casting ripples of light, the crowd fell silent. Her gaze met Jason's, and she was struck by the quiet strength in his expression. He stood at the altar, tall and steady, his uniform blowing subtly, with Elysian and Earth emblems intertwined. In that moment, Sorella felt a sense of calm wash over her. This wasn't just a political union, it was a partnership. Jason's breath caught as she approached. In the weeks they had spent together, he had seen Zarella's strength, her wisdom, and her unwavering devotion to her people, but now she looked every bit the ethereal princess of a world that had already begun to feel like home. The ceremony began with an exchange of symbols. Zarella offered Jason a shard of starstone, a rare Elysian gem that pulsed with the energy of their planet. This represents our connection, she said, her voice steady yet warm. A piece of elixir to carry with you always. Jason took the gem reverently, feeling its warmth in his palm. In return, he handed her a silver locket inscribed with the Earth Alliance crest. And this represents our bond to Earth, he said. A reminder that together we are stronger. The priestess of elixir raised her hands, invoking the ancient blessing of unity. The words, spoken in a lyrical Elysian tongue, were incomprehensible to Jason, but the meaning was clear. As the final syllables resonated, a wave of energy radiated from the altar, casting a shimmering glow over the crowd. It was the universe's silent approval, a sign that this union was destined to change the stars. As the ceremony concluded, the amphitheater erupted in celebration. Aliens and humans alike shared in the joyous moment, their differences momentarily forgotten in the face of this historic event. Jason and Zarella stood side by side, their hands brushing briefly before Zarella intertwined her fingers with his. It was a small gesture, but it spoke volumes. Later that evening, beneath Elixir's twin moons, Jason and Zarella stole a quiet moment away from the festivities. They stood on a balcony overlooking the glowing forests, the hum of the celebration distant yet comforting. I never thought I'd feel this, Zarella admitted, her voice barely above a whisper. Hope, not just for our worlds, but for us. Jason turned to her, 
his expression soft. Neither did I. But here we are. For a moment, they simply stood together, their differences fading under the starlight. Do you think we can really make this work? Zarella asked, her voice tinged with vulnerability. Jason smiled, his hand brushing hers. If we can bridge the gap between Earth and Elixir, I think we can handle anything. As they gazed out into the cosmos, they knew their journey was just beginning. Their union, born of necessity and fear, had transformed into something neither had expected, a bond of trust, respect, and the possibility of love. Together, they would navigate the challenges ahead, not as strangers from distant worlds, but as partners bound by a shared vision for a brighter future. Above them, the stars seemed to shine a little brighter, as if bearing witness to the dawn of a new era, where two hearts, two worlds, beat as one.